Welcome to another video by DJ PRC. We have the small truck that you guys saw a couple of videos ago. Uh, <laughs> unboxing of the Lucy DBXL fifth scale um, buggy, desert buggy. It is a desert buggy. Uh, I did play with it. It's an awesome machine. It's fast. It's durable. It took some tumbles uh, and grass. And on pavement, you did not tumble on pavement, but it's still a good machine. But I want to improve it a bit. Uh, what I want to do here is change out this guy. Put a little bit of better servo in there. And what I decided to go with is the Power HD 65. Uh, this is the same servo that I have in the Creating 8S Monster, uh, the one that's the Super Bash, the Extreme Bash, or what I don't remember the name exactly. But this is the one that's in it. I decided to put the same thing in this guy here and try it out. I'm confident it will work. It has more torque than the stock servo. But now it's time to physically remove this guy out of our way. And we'll need to remove these guys here and they're 2 mil, uh, 2.5. Just want to make sure the nut doesn't come off. There we go. I'm just going to put it back because I think there is a capture nut underneath. That way it won't fall off. And the other thing I'm trying to do here at the same time is try to keep it as straight as possible. Because what I'm going to do is remove the servo, but I'm going to try to keep the horn as kind of a 35 degree ish when I'm going to put it back in the vehicle. That way my wheels should be straight ish. Move the horn. Just gonna put this aside, keep it as one assembly. Why not? Open the box. And I'm just gonna unplug the servo. <clears throat> Come on. Okay. <laughs> Too many wires in this box, and it's a small box. There we go. Okay. Now, if you are going to use a drill to do these guys here, don't go crazy. This is a Milwaukee and I'm on uh, setting one. You don't want to start stripping gears and things like that around. And here's our throw out. Put that guy aside. We're going to open this guy here. If it wants to come out of the package, it doesn't seem to want to come out right now. <clears throat> I 
They are the same size. Pretty much, yeah. One's a little, little bit taller than the other one, but it should not matter. Uh, they're both water resistant. I just don't know the torque on this guy here exactly by heart. But I do know the Power HD will give me a lot more torque. There we go. It's a, it, it is snug to put in there. But once it's in, it's in. And let's screw the servo back in. I don't lose all my screws. And before we physically put the servo horn on, we're, uh, we will put power to it and center the servo. I just forgot to grab my tester here, go grab my battery. Give my tester some power here. Plug this guy in. One of the things I do love about this uh, tester here that I got at my local hobby shop that is Great Hobbies, it has uh, manual, neutral, and auto. Put it on neutral, centers itself, and we're golden. Now I'm just going to remove the screw of this guy in. And I'm going to again put it back closely where it was, like on and an angle. And believe it or not, that's pretty much where it was. It looks like it. We're gonna grab a little bit of Loctite. Like you can see, I was well prepared. Like not at all. I'm putting blue Loctite. And I did put a little bit too much. You don't want tons of it. This one I, I will do manually. I'm not going to use my drill. Now, the other thing too, I do suggest before you start playing with it, give it 24 hours to completely dry for the Loctite. I heard some people say, oh, no, you can use it right away, wait half hour, things like that. No, it's not. You want to wait at least... 24 hours. There's one thing I just realized. They're both different high lengths. This one might be a little bit harder to remove now. There we go. No, the same link. I don't know why. For some reason, it doesn't want to go in. That's a little bit more drastic than the earlier one.
This one's fine. And they are both same length. Yep, they are. Does it really matter? We will readjust the steering to make sure once uh, everything's installed. Okay. What I ended up needed to do is remove one of these guys here uh, because of the silver saver it's putting me a little bit of pressure. Could not align this guy. And now I'm pretty much close. I will need to uh, use the the trim that on the remote itself. And we're back straight. Now we're gonna close our box here. And we're done. Now if you guys have any comments or questions, post down below, I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you did like this video, hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.